Welcome back everybody. So spring is almost upon us. We've had some daffodils popping up in my yard lately. Um, the azaleas look like they're wanting to bloom, but we're not quite there yet. So it is a, certainly a perfect time to jazz up the yard a little bit with something special. You know, I like to do a lot of inflatable decorating for my Halloween displays. And I, I find it's just a quick, easy, cheap way to decorate. I just can't say enough about inflatables. So I love it when I get new inflatables, not only for Halloween, but for all seasons. I can put an inflatable up in the yard for almost any occasion, and it just kind of brings that fun community atmosphere to the neighborhood. Uh, let's, let's the neighborhood know that I'm not just that crazy house on the block that goes all out for Halloween, but uh, we're, we're normal people. We like other holidays too, such as Easter. So I was really excited when our friends at Dangelu, I believe that's how it is pronounced, um, sent me a couple of their Easter inflatables to display. So we're going to take a look at them here in a moment. But first, let's go ahead and take a look at their website. So here we are. Again, their name is Dangelu. And they've got a nice little banner here showcasing their Easter inflatable offerings, um, which we're going to take a quick scroll through and take a look at. So we've got a nice little Easter bunny here with a carrot. He looks like he's four feet tall. But for a larger inflatable, we have a, an Easter bunny here that kind of is egg-shaped, very good for Easter. Um, we also have a bunny holding an Easter egg. A fantastic bunny with basket. And let's see, a blow-up Easter chicken. Looks like they're in a egg boat of some sort with a little paddle. That'd be almost perfect for my yard. And a little video showing how to use them and a couple of their other products. So of course you can see they have some Halloween offerings as well, which I'm told um, will be a little bit more extensive this upcoming season. All right, did you see any that you liked? Hopefully you did. We're going to take a look at a couple of them here. So which ones do you think we're going to take a look at today? It's not quite as big of a surprise because although they have the really nice decorative box that says Happy Easter Day on it with a nice little uh, image, one thing I like about these inflatables is that they actually list what it is on the back. You know, sometimes on our inflatables we get, they just have like a little sticker on the top that tells you what it is with some sort of generic box. So I'm kind of excited that once we um, are done with these for the season and put them away, we're easily going to be able to tell what they are in the future. So this one is the four foot inflatable Easter bunny with a carrot. I think that was the first one we saw. And then we also have the eight foot Easter bunny, which I think it was that big old egg shaped one, which is the one I was actually very excited to see. So let's go ahead and just open up one of these boxes right now. We're going to take them outside and get them inflated, but I just want to see kind of what the contents are real quick. Um, and we'll just open this one. All right, so inside we have the inflatable. We have the stakes. Um, it comes with a couple of different stakes. You've got some metal stakes, some plastic stakes, and some string to tie it all down. Comes with some instructions. Oh, they're actually nice full color instructions. And it's specific to the inflatable that we've got. That's nice. But the one thing that I absolutely loved that I was excited about when I saw uh, these products were these. Look at this. It is a plastic water bottle. So you're supposed to just fill this up with water and then you can stick it inside of the inflatable. Um, I don't know if it has any sort of bean bags in here. Um, or you know, some weights to weight it down. It doesn't quite feel like it. We'll find out here in a moment when we take it outside. But what I like to do anyway with my inflatables is take Ziploc bags and fill them with gravel and put them inside just to make sure it doesn't blow away. Because if I don't have to tie something down, I absolutely won't. I hate doing that. So I thought this was a genius idea. We can just fill it up with water and use that weight to put in there. Because I hate using my gravel, honestly. It tears up my little Ziploc bags. It gets everywhere. It's just a hassle to deal with. It's all dirty and you get gravel dust in your mouth. Water's going to be the perfect solution for that. So I'm excited to try that and see how that works. But before we get to that, let's go ahead and take these inflatables outside. We'll get them plugged in and see how they look. 
All right, let's go ahead and start with the four foot bunny and then we'll go ahead and do the larger one next. So as you can see on the back, it's got a small fan and a cord that's about five feet long or so. Go ahead and plug this guy in. I can see he's lighting up. I can hear the fan going, so that's a good sign. Let's go ahead and just sit him over here. I don't imagine he's going to take long at all to inflate. In fact, he'll probably be inflated by the time I even get him set down. So there we go. All right. Let's go ahead though and open up the big guy. Inside we have the large inflatable. It takes up a substantial amount of room in the box. Inside the box we also have um, the, the stakes. It looks like it's about the same. Actually, it looks like there's a bit more material. Um, you've got double the amount of stakes in here um, and some rope. And then we also have these wonderful water bags that we talked about a moment ago. Um, they do weigh, I don't know, maybe a pound. So it's not going to be quite as um, substantial as the rock bag, but I think it might still work. Well, let's go ahead and unwrap this guy. It's got the same sort of coloring as the other inflatable there. Uh, looks like it's the same fan too. Um, the cord looks about the same. So basic same infrastructure, but it's the details that matter. So let's go ahead and plug this one in and give it a moment to inflate. So one thing I like about the smaller fans, I mean, you might think, you know, is it too small? It's certainly not for that. Um, for an eight foot inflatable like this, it's got a lot of volume. I guess we'll find out here in a moment. But what I really like about the small fans is that they're very quiet. So, you know, I could put this inflatable inside if I wanted to, um, but I don't. I want to put mine in the yard. So hopefully they're gonna have a nice presence. Let's just go ahead and give this one a minute to inflate. All right, what do you think? I think it's super cute. I really like actually now having the big inflatable next to the little inflatable. I think it makes a really cute grouping. Um, this did take a good amount of time to inflate. Uh, I put one of the water bags in the bottom and he's very stable. So uh, I'm pretty excited. I'm excited to put it out in the yard and see what the neighbors think. Um, but I think for our purposes, let's go ahead and bring the camera in and we'll take a closer look. So we've got a very white bunny on the left here and a sort of grayish one on the right. Kind of reminds me of Bugs Bunny a little bit with his carrot, um, but he's certainly a character. The colors are very vibrant. He's got holding his little sign uh, that says Happy Easter. I almost wish that sign were a little different coloring uh, just to distinguish himself or itself from the rabbit, but that's just me being nitpicky. It's got a lot of details, got his little foot pads there his carrot, his little nose, but of course the cutest little bit, he's got a little cotton tail also. You don't see that on the bigger inflatable because he's inside an Easter egg. His little arms poking through and his legs, and of course his very happy face. What kid would not absolutely love this? Now, one thing you're gonna to wanna to note on this big guy is this different fabric that they use as a sort of eggshell. Um, it's, it's kind of fabric-y, whereas everything else is like a canvas sort of tent material. So if you're gonna leave him out in the rain, you just wanna be aware of that. He might do better under a covered porch. I, of course, I'm not too worried about it. I'm going to use him outside, however, I do want to be very careful because of this white. It's so brilliantly bright white and beautiful, I don't want it to get stained in the muddy yard. So just consider your placement carefully of these guys. All right, one thing you probably couldn't see in the video was the lighting. So this large inflatable has some swirling colored lights in the bottom. That's probably got a very neat sort of Easter colory effect uh, on that one. This one just has, it looks like an LED in the middle of it that lights him up. Of course, we're not going to be able to get 
um, a real sense of what that looks like until it gets a little bit darker. So let's give it another couple of hours and we'll take another look. All right, well here at night you can see they've got really good presence. Even the little guy who only has the one light, you can really get all of his features coming through because he is such a, a lightly colored inflatable that it makes it very easy to see. This guy, of course, is a little bit more visible just because he's got all the swirling lights going on, kind of like little Easter eggs floating around his big Easter egg body. I really love him. He is such a character. And honestly, I think he's kind of a bargain as well. So um, be sure to check him out at the uh, Amazon website. I'll put the link in the description below if you're interested in purchasing any of these. I'm actually quite curious to see um, what the other inflatables do as well. So be sure to check them out and uh, let me know if you are interested in ordering one, which one you got. Um, but that'll do it for today. Before we head out, I did want to say thank you once again to all of our patrons who help support the channel. Your support is greatly appreciated, and if anyone out there is interested in joining our Patreon team, you can of course see that link in the description below as well. So that'll do it for today. Thanks for watching everyone. Till next time, take care and happy Easter.